Claude, thanks for doing this. Uh, Dave Nonis just walked by, and I asked him how things were going, and he smiled, and he says, it's dead. Is it even deader than you would have imagined? Well, it's a tough, it's a tough market right now because it's, you're trying to make a hockey deal, and it's so difficult with the cap being so tight. And, you know, teams that are trying to make a push, trying to get, you know, rental players don't have a lot of cap space. And in order to acquire those players, you need to shed some cap space. So it's, it's, a, it's a really tough, uh, tough situation that every team's in right now. There's a lot of buzz on Twitter about Drew McIntyre being recalled. Can you just kind of give us the, the facts and the straight goods and what's going on with the Leafs' goaltending position, especially when it comes to the minor leagues? Well, we've, uh, we have three goaltenders, two young goaltenders, Christopher Gibson and, and uh, Garrett Sparks. And what we've been doing is our affiliation with Orlando is we flip those goalies back and forth. When they go down to Orlando, they play all the games. And when they come up, they, come up, they practice with the team. And, you know, they're, they're more of a, as a backup role. But this is, you know, has nothing to do with Drew McIntyre at this point. And, you know, this was predetermined, uh, I think, two weeks ago. And, you know, with Twitter, people are going to put two and two together and say, oh, that means James Reimer must be on the move. That's right. Two and two and I'd get to five or six <laughs> or whatever. But, yeah, it's, there's a lot, of, a lot of speculation. But that's, that's, the, uh, that's the scoop. You know, Dave said earlier that his goal isn't to trade for draft picks. He wants to get players that can help now. And is that certainly the mindset you're seeing right now in that room? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we're 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 above the line right now. We want to we want to stay there, and uh, you know, so we need to we need to keep keep getting better, and and uh, so just to acquire a draft pick to, to help us out in the future is not uh, is not the thinking right now. And and uh, you know, at this point, there's not a lot of lot of, not a lot of talk out there. That's for sure. Is it frustrating though? You seem pretty relaxed about it. Well, it is and it is, and I mean, you're you're trying out different scenarios, and and uh, you know, you're trying to. You, you keep writing down your lineup every every two minutes with with a different scenario, and and that's what you do. You know, we've got our, our hockey group and uh, huddled down in a room, and and uh, we're just throwing out ideas and trying to make it fit. And again, it's 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 so difficult this time because it's it's more of a there's more of the financial part of it than than just the hockey part of it. And just a final one for you then. At the end of the day, what would be a perfect day for the Maple Leafs for you and for Dave Nonis and the staff? Well, the perfect day would be to improve our hockey team. Um, but if we if we stay status quo, I mean, we still, you know, David Bolin is, is uh, you know, he, he's still injured. We're hoping he comes back in the very near future. And, uh, you know, that's that would be, I guess, a perfect day would be uh, you get a call from our trainer so that David Bolin's ready to play. <laughs> but unfortunately not tonight, hopefully soon. Yeah, not tonight, but hopefully soon for sure. Claude, thank you so much and the best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks a lot, Tony. Guys, back to you in the studio.